So is I, am I just, oh damn right I am. <laughs> now, when I was with Norm, and this is jewel number two, my focus was understanding the connection between what was, what was wrong with somebody, but identifying illness, identifying, you know, an illness here, a stress there, an illness, stress, illness, stress, because I did not know this world. I never heard of chakras. I didn't know about seven energy centers. I knew nothing. I knew nothing. I was a clean slate, absolutely a clean slate. I knew nothing about this which made me perfect, made me perfect. And I didn't realize how much I knew until I wrote the book with Norm, Creation of Health. I had no idea how much I knew or that, or that I had, um, or that how organized this chapter of my life had been couple of points. One, maybe this would help me <laughs> more than you, but maybe I need this to help teach. At this stage, and this is important because I think, in a sense, everybody de de follows this route because I'm so special. No, everybody <laughs> follows a route. Tell me if you can see this. I want everyone to, okay. You know, I draw the chakras like this, but it's, it helps as a map of eight, nine, 10. Okay, it helps as a map of how energy and matter follow a map. We follow a map. We cannot not follow the map. It's the law. It's a mystical law. We follow the map of creation. Grace moves into energy, moves into matter. Matter shifts to energy, returns to grace. This is the map. This is the map. This is the map of how you communicate. You meet somebody in the first chakra. This is the first chakra where we are right now. The physical, where we see each other. This is our tribe. This is us in the room. Even when you meet somebody, you're going to follow this map. And if they fall out of sequence, you will not trust them because there's timing to this, a built-in timing. You meet someone in the first chakra, that's this room. There's a first chakra conversation that's archetypal. Where are you from? What tribe do you cometh from? The Chicago tribe. And you? The Sedona tribe. So then both of us go ding, 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 ding. I've heard of that. OK, so far, so good. We have to get tribal coordinates that make us decide we will then pursue a second chakra court conversation. Children, partner, occupation, stable, this is where you have to check these out. And if you pass there, you'll pursue a third. So do you want to sit down and have lunch? Personal. Personal. And if these pass, then you'll go into this column and you'll begin to confide and share the heart. Then you'll start sharing your energy. And you start the bonding. Now if someone goes faster, where are you from? Oh, I'm from Chicago tribe. Oh, I'm from Sedona. Can I tell you all about my heart? What? I am so out of here. This is online dating.
This is online dating, people. Let me just fill out the paperwork. And go to online date. Take the time out of intimacy. I'll get to that. Now, during my years with Norm, I'm still with Norm. Norm and I will always be together. But during my early years in the early 80s, when I was first doing medical, my first stage of medical intuition, I was learning this part of it right here, which was the basics of one of uh, the, uh, the human energy system. This world had not opened up to me, that's very important. This world was just opening up to me, first, second, and third. Really, not this world much that had yet to open up. I was getting these coordinates, which, which basically were what these seven, that we had seven energy centers, and that, the, here's the operative word, stress participated in us becoming ill. And that there were patterns to stress. And that specific patterns of stress did indeed influence areas of the body that became sick. Yes, indeed, that is true. Now, I at this time did not involve spiritual thinking. The body, mind, spirit template had been introduced into our thinking, as had a second perception that never existed before in the collective unconscious. And this is important to understand. These two never existed before. They're indications of the evolution of us. The other was we create our own reality. So now we have two significant perceptions that are major league that had never, ever, ever existed in the human thought form system. And these were shifting the way we thought about ourselves and our own sense of empowerment. So this is a big deal to understand. Because pre-World War II, nobody, no individual would stand up and say, I create my own reality. No individual would say, I, my biological, physiological, psychological, emotional system is an integrated operating system that includes the participation of my spirit. So when I am sick, you better ask them all. So you have to understand that we took an evolutionary leap of power, and power is a huge word to cast on the table here. 